everybody, Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well. I am doing great except for one thing, and that is that I'm kind of hungry. My stomach is growling a little bit, but it's okay. Don't feel bad. I actually have a bunch of food in front of me, and it's food that I've never had before, and it comes from the beautiful country slash continent of Australia. Yes, if you guys learned anything in third grade geography, you learned that Australia is its own continent, which is kind of cool. So before I tell you guys all the stuff that I have here on the table and before we prepare it all and eat it and everything, I do want to give a special thank you to my friend Tom Simic who provided me with all the footage that you guys saw at the beginning of this video. He's from Australia. Here's his Instagram tag. Make sure you guys go check him out. Check out his photos. Give him a follow. Tell him that I sent you over there or whatever. But he's super cool. And Tom, thanks so much for the footage, bro. That was super nice of you. I hope that you enjoy this video and enjoy watching me eat your country's cuisine. All right, so what do we have here today? What am I gonna be eating? Well, I went online and I tried to find a fun list of things that are sort of iconic foods from Australia that I would enjoy eating and then one that is very traditionally Australian that I might not enjoy eating. But as you guys know, with any country's cuisine, the, the list is usually a mile long. So, you know, I just kind of picked and choose some of the things. So the first thing we have is Vegemite. Now, Vegemite, you guys have probably heard of before, and this is very traditional Australian. It's a spread, it's a yeast extract that goes on toast. It's supposed to be very salty, I don't know. It also has some B vitamins in it, so we're getting our health fix today, I guess. And uh, this is the one thing in this video that I'm, uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it or not. And actually, I should mention that the whole idea for this video came a couple months ago while I was streaming on Facebook. Guys, just so you know, I do video game live streams five days a week on my Facebook page. Check it out, link is down in the description. So during one of those streams, a viewer asked me if I had ever tried Vegemite before. I said no, because I've never tried it before, but I also got the idea for this video, because I thought, hey, this would make for a great video on my YouTube channel, where I try new things. So, we're gonna be trying Vegemite today. We also have a beef sausage, apparently beef and pork sausage, and different types of meats like lamb and other things like that. Chicken Parmesan is a popular dish in Australia, but I was gonna go with just the beef sausage today. You know, it's not authentic Australian, it's from Hillshire Farms, which is in the US, but you know, beef sausage is beef sausage, so what gives? Gotta have some meat to this super carb fest that I'm about to go <laughs> to have right now. This is gonna be crazy. The next thing we're gonna be making is something called fairy bread. So I have a loaf of white bread here and a bunch of sanding sugar and some like cookie type decorations. Supposedly fairy bread is very popular in Australia and all that it really is is bread, butter, and sugar. Now when I told my friend Tom that I was gonna be eating this in a video, he had a huge laugh and said that fairy bread is basically just what you eat at birthday parties when you're 10 in Australia, but I don't care. I never had an Australian birthday party, so happy birthday to me. All right, so to wash all this sugar down, we're gonna be washing it down with more sugar, and this one comes recommended directly from my friend Tom. It is a drink powder called Nestle Milo. It's made by Nestle. It's, it's like a chocolate powder. He said people use it for all sorts of things. I think he said people can put it on pancakes and stuff. I'm gonna be putting this in a glass of milk today and just drinking chocolate milk and seeing what this drink mix tastes like. I'm sure it'll be wonderful. I'm looking forward to trying that. All right, rounding out our dessert slash sugar fest here, we have Tim Tams. These are apparently very popular as well in Australia. They're made by the brand Arnott's, which I heard and read online was a pretty popular brand over there. So we're gonna be trying these. They look like little chocolate uh, biscuits made with irresistible real chocolate. So woohoo! And last but not least, the thing I'm probably the most excited about today are the Lamingtons. And these I did order directly from Australia. Guys, please be sure to hit the like button on this video because I spent an extra $30 to get this shipped all the way from Australia. I think these were like seven bucks, but shipping was very expensive. These are like sponge cake. It says soft sponge cake covered in chocolate coating and coconut. Oh, cannot wait to try these. These are gonna be fantastic. I think we might save these for last because I don't know, I'm just, a, mm, I've been waiting to try these and I'm super, super pumped. Okay, so the next thing I need to do here is I need to go downstairs to the kitchen and I need to cook the sausage. I gotta make the fairy bread. I gotta make some toast so that I can put some Vegemite on it. I'm gonna grab some plates, all that fun stuff. I'm gonna bring you guys with me and when we come back up here, we're gonna be eating this and it's gonna be wonderful. Oh, I gotta get milk too for the, I gotta get a lot of stuff. All right, let's go.
so here we go. We've got the food ready. We've got this feast in front of us and I am so hungry. I'm actually hungrier now than I was before because I had to film that whole thing. And anyways, we had a little bit of a mishap with the sausage. I'm okay. Everything's fine. We got everything cleaned up. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with, I think the fairy bread. So the fairy bread actually isn't finished yet. What I need to do with this is I need to dress it up. Uh, but basically what I'm gonna do is just take some of this sanding sugar and I'm gonna put it on, uh, on the bread here. And this is basically, if you Google fairy bread, at least, at least if you go to the Wikipedia page for it, uh, this is pretty much just what it looks like here. We've got this one dressed up a little bit. I'll show you guys on the GoPro cam. Woo. Um, oh man, there's going to be <laughs> bits of sugar all over my office. Man, I got to do a Facebook stream after this where I'm going to play some games. And I'm going to have the biggest sugar crash, I think, ever with all this stuff. Ooh, it's not going to be good. All right, so the fairy bread is ready. Let's go ahead and give it a try. I'm pretty sure I know what this is going to taste like. Bread, butter, sugar, but... Wow. That's really good. It is, it's, it's what you expect it to taste like, but when I was younger, I used to do something similar to this. My brother and I would, would toast some toast, put some butter on it, and then put cinnamon sugar on it. And that tastes amazing. This basically tastes the exact same as that, minus the cinnamon. It's got the same texture, but yeah, heck yeah. I'm totally a fan of this berry bread. This is good. All right, next thing, let's dive into this sausage a little bit. We're just gonna have a bit of a meal here, if you guys don't mind. I mean, again, I think this is going to, I know, I know this is going to taste amazing. I've had sausage before. It's great. But I'm trying to get the whole, well, not the whole cuisine, but some of the cuisine. Excellent. Throw a little bit of protein in this meal. A little bit. I don't know if sausage actually counts as high quality protein, but it's protein. Let's wash this down with some Nestle Milo. Let's see what this tastes like. Now, the instructions for this on the, on the, uh, the can for a cold beverage, was to place three leveled tablespoons of Nestle Milo in a glass, add eight fluid ounces of cold milk, and stir briskly. It is customary for crunchy bits of Milo to float to the top after mixing with cold milk. That's basically what we have here. There's like some, some bits at the top. There's some on the spoon. Mmm. Okay, it's good. I mean, it tastes like chocolate milk from the spoon at least. But yeah, it smells great. That stuff is actually... Mm. Yeah, it smells like chocolate powder. It's awesome. I love this video already. <laughs> yeah, tastes like chocolate milk. I mean, well, it's a little different than chocolate milk. Like, no, I mean, it's basically chocolate milk. It just doesn't taste exactly like, doesn't taste like spot on like the chocolate milk I'm necessarily used to. Like if you just did like Hershey's syrup in uh, milk or something. But that is fantastic for all intents and purposes. It tastes like chocolate milk and it's great. We're gonna go ahead and finish this sausage because this is the most sort of like hearty portion of the meal, I guess. The rest is just sugar and then I've got Vegemite, so. And guys, honestly, as you know, I do love trying new things and it's really fun for me to try new foods as well and experience, you know, different types of cuisine. I know we haven't really stepped that far outside of the box yet. Stuff like Lamington's Tim Tams and the, uh, the Vegemite are definitely what I'm very excited to try here and see what that tastes like. But this is just really fun. I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. I think it's time to try the Vegemite. All right, so for this, I buttered two pieces of toast. I'm not gonna be probably eating all this, but let's go ahead and open this up. Okay. Is that it right there? Is there a seal here? Yeah, that's it. it doesn't smell bad. This is what it looks like inside. Yeah, it doesn't smell bad. Online. The instructions that I found, at least on Wikipedia, was that you want to use this stuff sparingly, okay? So typically in Australia, I guess you would do toast, butter, and then a very light amount of Vegemite on the toast. We're gonna do two options today, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna try it that way, the normal way. Then I'm gonna try it as a idiotic tourist that maybe just happened to be like, oh, Vegemite, and slaps it on his, his bread and adds too much, and we'll see what that tastes like. So here we go. It's brown and like, it doesn't smell bad at all. It actually smells kind of sweet. So I don't know, that's a little lump of it. Uh, that might be too much. <laughs> that might be too much. So here's what we'll do. Let me get this first little bite out of the way. 
which is just bread. That way the next bite I take, I can get a full bite of Vegemite on there. So here we go. Vegemite in three, two, one. Whoa. It's very salty. Holy smokes. That's like really salty. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, so initial impressions, uh, it's, it's, it's salty, but it still tastes a lot like just the bread and the butter, so it's not really all that bad. Let's try, uh, well, hold on, let me. Ooh. I flipped that piece over on my onto my tongue, so it hit the taste buds like right away. It's actually not bad. It's it's like it definitely adds more of a um, definitely adds more of a savory flavor. A little bit savory, a little bit not tangy, but it's a little bit savory, a little bit sour. But it's not bad. It's not. It doesn't really taste that bad. But here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the idiot test. Like you know, not the idiot test, but we're gonna pretend that we didn't properly read online, and we're gonna like lather up a piece of toast with Vegemite. As if we were, I don't know, let's say we were just some dude that won some free trip to Australia and we just showed up there one day and we're like, oh, all right, let's dive into the cuisine and see what they got going on. Look, it's Vegemite. And then we just slap it on some bread. Oh gosh, look how much there is. Ew. I'm going to stop with this amount because this thing is, I feel like this is going to be, this is going to be bad. So we're like, all right, we got our bread co totally covered in Vegemite. Yum. Let's take a bite and try it. <laughs> oh gosh, look at this. It's fully, fully covered. Okay, ugh, yeast extract, here we go. Mm. It's stuck. Oh, too much. I love Australia. Oh, yeah, mm -mm. Oh wow, whoa, the swallow was gross. That was bad. Too mu definitely too much Vegemite. So, oh gosh. <laughs> you really taste the full flavor when you when you do it like this. I wouldn't recommend this. Uh, I would recommend way more of the, just putting a little bit on your toast. A little goes a long way. And that, ugh, that was way too much. Nestle Milo, please save me. It's doing the job. We got through the roughest part. Um, next thing we're gonna do here, let's try these Tim Tams. So we're gonna do the Lamingtons last because those things look freaking amazing. Let's go ahead and open up these Tim Tams. I'm super pumped about these. So like I said earlier, these are described as, um, well, it says there is no substitute. So don't even think about trying to replace it, all right? It says here, original made with irresistible real chocolate, uh, the most irresistible chocolate biscuit. So, crack this open. Woo, look at that. That's some Tim Tams. Take the first biscuit out. All right, so here we go. Let's break this thing open and see what it looks like inside first. There we go. All right. A little biscuit, a little chocolate. Mmm. Oh yeah, I can see why these are a thing. Why aren't these a thing in America? I guess we kind of have something similar, sort of. I don't know. Maybe not quite like this. This is good though. Woo! That's good. Those are, wow. Definitely a fan of Tim Tams. Those are uh, something that I will have to get again if I ever visit Australia. All right, so here we go. The final thing, the product that I ordered straight from Australia, the Lamingtons. And these, you guys, I'm so freaking pumped about. I just noticed too, it's funny looking at like another country's nutrition label. Oh yes, dude, look at these things. Oh my gosh. You guys, look at this. Look at that spongy, delicious goodness. Oh, it's like a little cake. All right, I kind of, I kind of want to cut this open and see what it looks like inside because the outside is obviously covered in chocolate and coconut flakes. But let me go ahead and cut this and see. Oh, it's white inside. It's like white cake. Look at that. Mmm. Now you can make these too. These don't just, these aren't like a product that you can only buy or anything. There were recipes online, but I just figured it'd be easier for me to order them. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. Oh yeah, wow, that coconut comes in strong and it is good. If you guys don't like coconut, I don't think I would recommend this. If you do like coconut, this is delicious. Holy smokes. Mmm, goodness gracious. 
Look at that little morsel right there. Look, just look at this. This piece, delicious piece of food I'm holding. How jealous are you guys right now? Huh? If this video in any way makes you hungry, leave me a comment down below let me know. <laughs> and if you get food or have food during this video, let me know what you're eating. I love responding to you guys' comments. Nothing quite like washing down sweets with a glass of chocolate milk or regular milk, but you know. All right, well that's gonna do it for me for today. I am done eating here. I have a lot of stuff to clean up, but Australia, you guys have a wonderful cuisine, and I realized that I picked a lot of the items that were more on the sweeter side, but honestly, in my research, I found that a lot of the items that were sort of flagged as traditional Australian foods were more on the sweeter side anyway, so I could be wrong, but that's kind of what I found. I thoroughly enjoyed what I tried here today, and I hope to go visit Australia someday. But more importantly, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button down below, subscribe if you're new, and hit that bell as well if you guys haven't done that yet. Clicking that bell will make sure you get those notifications every time I upload a new video. And last but not least, I hope that you guys enjoyed watching me try something new today, and I hope that maybe it inspires you to try something new in your world as well. So guys, once again, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.